everybody, Jared here for TGN and the Smoking Android. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new AOKP Jelly Bean ROM port from my good friend The Bill over at the XDA forums. Of course, I will be posting a link in the description below for everybody to download for your convenience. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing you'll notice is that this is actually using the Aroma installer, which is very, very cool stuff. I just love seeing the Aroma installer uh, being integrated into more ROMs, not only on the Atrix, but in a lot of other different devices as well. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, though, is that when you, you, when you are, uh, you know, jumping into recovery and you're about to flash this, um, don't wipe cache, don't do a factory data reset or anything like that. This is what Aroma is for. Aroma is the full package. So, let's go ahead and get started. So, of course, we're going to start out in English here. I'll go ahead and click Next. And, of course, you're going to want to hit the Agree to the Terms and Conditions, basically stating if, you know, your phone bungs up, it's no fault of the developer or the Aroma developers. Uh, so, let's go ahead and get started here. So, this is a bit of a change log, things that have been added, added in Black Apps, added in the Remap mod, uh, Google Music, and corrected F-stabs. So let's go ahead and click next. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and select full wipe. Now, say for instance you're already rocking this ROM, and you're probably going to want to select no wipe. And that's basically going to be able to, um, you know, save all of your apps and settings and things like that. This is just for, you know, the, the no wipe would just be for updating upon uh, over and above the current version that you may be running at the moment. But if this is a full or a, a fresh install for the first time, you're going to want to make sure you click full wipe. Moving on from that, you can select all the different extras like GSM or GSMT, which is tweaked profile. <clears throat> I'm just going to stick with the standard GSM. Uh, we'll go down to stock keyboard. So you've got stock, you know, the big keyboard, uh, big black, blue keyboard, and black keyboard. I prefer just stock. And uh, you can use a SIM card or use eMMC as your primary storage. So I'm just going to stick with uh, the SD card. Actually, sorry, eMMC. And then, of course, you can you have the app option to flash uh, their version of GApps, and you can flash no GApps if, for instance, you have your own version for whatever reason you want to flash that. However, I do recommend flashing their GApps because it obviously is optimized and you know meant for this ROM. Uh, so we'll go ahead and click next on there. So now we've got music. So this is your music app: CM9, Apollo, Sony. Um, you know the Google Music Player, which I prefer. Uh, we can do File Explorer <clears throat> and. Uh, the different black apps. This is new, something that I uh, haven't seen in a previous Aroma builds from the bill. Um, so you've got black calendar, all kinds of awesome stuff here. And uh, so we're just going to go ahead and select all of them. All right. So, oops, didn't do all of them. My bad. Hold on. There's still more. Yep. Themes, Black Exodus or Cobalt. Well, I'm just going to leave it for now just so we can get an idea of um, the ROM without the different themings involved. We'll come back as soon as the install is done. Alrighty, so we finished installation and we're now booting up. So just obviously a quick look at the uh, boot animation from AOKP, the lovely, lovely unicorn pops up, just awesome. Uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, we'll skip the rest of this boot and we'll jump right in as soon as it fully launches. Alrighty, and we're back, fully booted up, ready to go. Let's go ahead and jump on in and bypass all of this setting up stuff here next finish Ooh, nova or trebuchet we'll go with nova i prefer nova over trebuchet just because things are a little more customizable for those of you that are wondering Alrighty, so let's take a look cool so we've got our what's this our brightness slider Alrighty. uh standard aokp rom stuff now the for those of you that are watching this and have never flashed AOKP ROM before. AOKP stands for Open King Project, or Android Open King Project, I'm sorry. And this is very, very similar to CyanogenMod. So uh, we're just gonna go down to About Phone really quickly to double check that this is in fact an ICS ROM. And as you can see here, 4.0.4, .4, so it is an ICS ROM. There is a Jelly Bean version or port available. I will be doing a video on that, so uh, yeah, so stay tuned for that one. But, um, Kernel-wise, as you can see there, we're running the um, same mind, blah, blah, blah. It's a Joker Stacks kernel, so I'm assuming it's running at 1 gigahertz, probably stock, which is perfectly okay. Um, you know, these days, even stock kernels on the uh, Atrix, all the different custom ROMs, and the different enhanced stock kernels, um, great battery saving, great performance. As you can see here, no stuttering whatsoever, switching from home screens. Mind you, the background is black, so if we were to load a, uh, a live wallpaper, it may change a little bit. Um, but let's go ahead and jump into the applications here and um, let's go ahead and check out some of the quote-unquote blacked out uh, things. So as you can see here, this is blacked out. 
and we've got the basic keyboard there with the blacked out SMS uh, messaging. And um, what else did we have blacked out? We had a whole bunch of other applications blacked out that I showed you guys in, during the installation process. You can see we have the Google Play Music with the new sort of icon going on there. Uh, very cool stuff. And um, what else do we have here? We've got the Sense 4 Clock. Interesting. So that means that we can add the widget, I guess. Cool. Let's check out what kind of... See if we can get that widget going. Long press, widgets. <clears throat> We've got AOKP tips. That's cool, never seen that before. And there's the sense clock. Right on, there you go. So there's the sense clock right there for you. And of course you can uh, customize, it, uh, customize it with the weather settings, things like that. So uh, nice to see that they included that. Everybody likes the sense clock. Um, what else have we got here? Of course we've got widgets, all your stock widgets. You do have a custom AOKP clock for you that you can throw down, a clock widget that you can throw on your home screen. So that's cool. And um, anything else here that we should see? We've got some different ROM control widgets. And uh, what else we got here? Hmm, that's about it. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into settings, shall we? So just jumping through settings, this is where um, AOKP really comes into play, the, the, uh, the ROM control setting here. Um, so here you've got all kinds of stuff. You can do a lot of general UI tweaks. Um, you can tweak out the navigation bar. You can uh, change around lock screen options, uh, power menu options, weather options, the power saver options, a uh, bunch of general settings, button stuff. Um, <clears throat> Battery, you can change the battery percentage, the battery mods, things like that, the battery style, uh, center mirrored or regular, so that's cool. And uh, what else we got here? Signal, you can also muck around with the performance, just like uh, most true custom ROMs. So, really nice to see there. Obviously, this one does, yep, go up to 1 gigahertz, so I'm assuming it is an enhanced stock kernel or a hacked stock kernel. And, um,. A bunch of other really, really great stuff that I, I truly recommend you guys explore because uh, AOKP is a very, very well-built ROM. Uh, the AOKP team puts in a ton of time and effort to come up with the best customization tweaks for both the super advanced and just, you know, more advanced root users, I suppose you could say. Um, so definitely a lot of great, great settings in here for you guys to check out. Color gamma tuning, I mean, like, it really, really gets in depth. Now, for those of you that are wondering if the camera is working, no, it's not 100% working yet. And the Bill, who is the developer of this ROM, or the one who ported this ROM for the Atrix, has said in the in the, in the description of his uh, of his post in the thread, you know, don't bug him. He knows that the camera isn't working, and there's nothing he can do about that until the um, different ICS libs from Motorola come out. So um, that, as well as the browser to landscape rotation, is not 100% either. So I mean, if if you need a if you need a uh, a working camera, 100% working camera, and you need to have um, auto rotation with uh, the um, web browser working, then this ROM probably isn't the best option for you. However, for those of us out there that don't really care about either of those, and, you know, and I, I've, I've also heard rumors that if you download a third-party camera application, those will work sometimes as well, just flawlessly. So play around with it. Definitely a fantastic ROM. Um, I love how you can just jump into the menu settings and clear all that stuff away and all kinds of great stuff here. So uh, really, really cool. Very cool ROM, actually. So that is it. This is AOKP, the ICS version, AOKP ROM for your Motorola Atrix 4G. Uh, my name is Jared for TGN and the Smoking Android. Uh, leave your comments below. Let me know your experience with this particular ROM. And if you guys really want to see the Jelly Bean version, I would love to do a video on that as well. Uh, make sure you give it a like. You, you, you give this video a like, a thumbs up. One of, one of those, right? If you like the video. Uh, anyways, guys, as always, I really appreciate you all tuning back in and watching my videos. Thanks again. And uh, make sure you subscribe for more videos like this in the future if you haven't already. Till next time, guys, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.